you guys. <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with my boy Matthew and we are at Colab Tuning. Bro, what are we going to do today? Well, uh, we're going to go and film some really cool cars and we're going to hopefully go for a ride in a really okay. solid RS3. Dude, but like, the thing is with that RS3, that, the spec on that map, dude, is exactly how I made mine. Nah, it's insane. It is literally, it's top spec. I mean, okay. let's give them a hint. It's got carbon ceramic brakes. It's got carbon. Dude, when a car has carbon ceramic brakes, you already know, dude. You know exactly. That but guys, so this car belongs to the owner of Colab Tuning. If you guys don't know Colab Tuning, I don't know. What, what do you tell them if they don't know Colab Tuning? I mean, the fastest car in the world, the golf cars in South Africa, crazy, bro. Like, I think they must get out from the rock they're they hiding under. Right? Yeah. So, anyway, guys, so this car is the owner of Colab's car. And I think so far it's only got a downpipe on the car and software and induction. You guys can see it's a carbon fiber induction. I'm going to show you guys that in just a second. But, dude, I'm wondering, do you think you'd give me the keys for the car? Uh, I don't know, eh? I guess we're gonna have to find out, bro. You know what? We'll ask him. He's just busy. I don't know if you guys can see him over there. He's just busy, you know, doing a awesome thing. <laughs> as soon as he's done with that, I think we should go and ask him how many views we should get in order for him to give us the RS3. One well, question I wanted to ask you, bro, and the people want to know at home. Mark, I think you're also gonna want to know this one, especially when your car's ready. We want to know how many views must we get on a TikTok video for you to hand us the keys for your car. That's crazy because you you have a lot of likes and views and followers because Tesla is the best. Um, <laughs> Are you gassing yes, me up? Putting me under pressure here. On the I was going to say a hundred thousand, but I know you be like you are overnight. No, hundred thousand, hundred thousand. I think 100, that's fair. Hundred thousand, hundred thousand views, hundred thousand views. 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 You guys heard it here first. Hundred thousand views on the TikTok. I'm gonna link it up here. Go, go watch that. You want me to get the keys, guys? I mean, I'll be responsible. All you know, I'm a good guy, right? But anyway, you guys, I think it's time we. You got the keys. Oh, you just, see now. Just now. The time <laughs> what it'll look like. See now, you're teasing us. I'm gonna put that you're teasing me. You're naughty, naughty. You're teasing me. You're naughty. You're naughty. You're naughty. You're naughty. <laughs> but guys, just come out here. Let's just take a look at this car. This thing is so sick. But guys, check this car out. Check this car out. This thing is absolutely sick. My exposure is hating, but damn. I want you guys to hear the start up of this car. Guys, please. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know, man. It's just, it's something about an RS3, guys, that just gets my blood going. I need to have this car. So please, smash the subscribe button, hit like, guys. We will maybe get one of these on the channel sometime soon. Are we gonna launch it? Oh, okay, I'll tell you just of this. I think we might get a launch of the Colab Tuning RS3, you guys. This thing is insane. It sounds like a battlefield, but you guys just listen to this. I said it before and I'm gonna say it again. That thing sounds like a battlefield, dude. It's scary. It almost scares me, dude, but it sounds... But I think that's enough of that. Let's get inside this car and just see what that launch actually feels like. Okay, you guys, so I'm here with Raul from Colab Tuning. You guys know him, you love him. We are with the team as well in the RS3. Now, in the, one of the last videos, we went in the Colab Tuning 7.5R, and that was one of the most brutal launches. I have expressed, Matthew, I think you can agree on that yeah, one. Dude. Everyone on the internet can see the way I was reacting. I'm going to link that video right up here, guys. If you've not yet seen it, go check it out. But yeah, you guys, you know Colab likes to build cars that scare shit out of us. And uh, Raul, please can you just tell the people, what exactly have you done to this car? So, obviously the new RS3 is on a different platform opposed to the to the 7R. So you get away with more power with less mods. There's not much done to it, but it's a lot more faster than the 7.5R by oh, a mile. Um, so it's downpipe software, the flex fuel, um, mid pipes, and yeah, custom ECU and TCU software. 
Oh boy. You know the part that scares me every time I hang out with Raul is when he does this. When he stops the car. Oh god. Every single video, whenever we're in these cars, we just we reach the speed limit and we don't pass the speed limit, yeah. of course. We reach the speed limit very, very nicely. Yeah. Yeah, very abruptly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're not gonna have any issues with cars like this trying to gain speed, guys. So Raul, you've driven these cars a lot, man. Which one would you say really gets your blood flowing between this and your golf? You know what? This is this definitely for the way it is right now i really enjoy this it's a lot more exciting than the golf the golf obviously had a hybrid turbo so on on an open road it had a lot more legs than this currently okay. but just the brute force in the way that this car launches in the torque that it makes makes 710 newtons on the wheels oh my so God. it makes a lot more torque than the 7 hours so yeah and i mean you can squeeze out so much more power yeah. out of this car i know you can more. there's still a lot more that you can go there that's why i say this platform just on another level compared to the golf with the platform so, yeah. So what are your personal goals though with this car? Do you want to make it something that's going to go and upset a lot of people, break records, or is this just your new daily? You just want to so enjoy this I car? I want to enjoy this car. It's not going to be a real drag car like what I made out of the 7.5, where it was a bit of both. Uh, my, my goal with the 20s, look, there's cars that in South Africa already ran 9.9 .9 with stock turbos in the country. Yeah. Um, I'm not, I don't want to go anywhere there. I want to have a 10 second street car with my big 20 inch rims on. For me, that's a 10 <laughs> second street car that looks the part I'm yeah, really happy that's with. goals right there. So, that yeah. is absolute goals right there. I'm very curious to just feel this car from a rolling. You know, because we know we know these cars launch very well. In fact, that launch, I think we, I think we could the, do that. Yeah, we could do the traction control wasn't off completely. Had it on off one level one, not level two, so ah. I never off completely. So what happened there, guys? Because the traction control is not turned off all the way. The car kind of launched then bogged because the traction control system was trying to prevent the wheels from spinning. So we've turned that off now. Let's see what this car really launches like. Okay, guys, we're gonna try launch this car again. <sighs> Bro, check the goosebumps, bro. That that was intense. I really struggle to let you guys know what this feels like because there's no real way of me telling you. But if you guys have been to Gold Drift City, you know the Anaconda, yeah? And I, like, when it does that loop thing, that's exactly what that just felt like for a second. Bro. And my ears, dude, you can feel your ears popping. This car is brutal, right? That's that's nuts, dude. And the shift, bro, yeah, that's magic. Super aggressive. Okay, and that's all. crazy thing guys about being in a car this fast is that like I don't know if you can agree that like your your focal point when you're driving changes when you're in a fast car like this like in normal cars you kind of looking 10 meters yeah. in front of you with these you look 50 100 meters in front of you because you get there so fast that's absolutely insane the amount of things you do in your head to just kind of adapt to a car of this speed you know guys a thought that just rushed into my mind right now is that we've got four guys in the car we've got Brad we've got Matthew and Raul I weigh personally 75 kgs. Matt? I'm also about 75. I'm Brad? About I'm 127, so I count for two. So <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So basically, what I'm trying to say, guys, is this is a very heavy car and it's performing like this. I can only imagine what this must be like when you're in a car alone. I think that's just next level stuff. Quite nice, yeah. But has this car ever scared you? Like, you ever been in a, in a situation with this car where you're like, whoa, okay, no, I need to relax? Not really, because boiling back to a lot of the cars we've worked on and cars that I've owned, I've owned faster cars. I mean, my OPC, um, the McLaren that we did, the, the 650S McLaren, that thing was crazy. That, that was something that actually scared me because 
it was way fast like a lot faster so we've i've worked on faster cars i've driven faster cars yeah own faster cars so it's exciting in a way each car had its had its strong points and its weak points look undoubtedly as an all-rounder this wins hands down but um no, it doesn't scare